reactions, Akasan. It's a glasses day sort of day today. Um, hey, so I already heard about this because uh, J-Roar, my brother J-Roar on that DC tip went crazy about Supergirl. He's probably the only person I know that actually watches that show. But anyways, I already know about the reveal, so let's go ahead and see how it went down. I'm very curious because the costume looked damn good, so I am kind of curious how it all went down uh because i knew there was something weird about that dude his name like wasn't his name like hank hector or something and i thought that was connected to um uh the cyborg superman right but um or no, no not just cyborg super superman but the guy who was the inventor of uh whatever the professor but i guess not Maybe they're doing like a kind of uh, Harrison Wells. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what's up here. You're wondering how I got out of a pair of locked handcuffs. For starters. You can't share this with anyone, not even Kara. Can you do that? You're the one who taught me to keep secrets from her. I am not Hank Henshaw. He died. The same night as your father. Your father died a hero. Not a alien. Is that you? Yep. But how are you him? I am a shapeshifter. When Hank Henshaw died, I assumed his identity to perform the D.E.O. You're not Hank Angel. Who are you? <laughs> I am the sole survivor of my planet. Oh, shit. The last son of Mars. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hold on a second. I got to hear that voice. That that reveal was good. The rest of it was like, okay, whatever. Hold on a second. Last son of Mars. My name is Sean Jones. That's pretty tight. That's a pretty good... God damn, imagine if you had to put that. Was it worth sitting through all of uh, Supergirl? I don't know. You have to be. You have to be really, really into Supergirl. Or a very dedicated fan. Like my friend, one of my best friends in Texas, uh, he says the show. He says the show is shit. Like, but since he's a... Uh, extreme Superman fan it's just one of those shows he has to sit through I can kind of understand that I think I could understand that if I had a TV if I had regular broadcast um, television or whatever it's just something you just kind of watch in the background doing other things or whatever um, so you can just always keep up but um, god damn like um, it, it, it I'm, I swear to god it sounds really like um, the same almost sounds like the same voice as the animated series John Jones um, you want to be left alone with me is that what you want it oops my lights my lights okay and so the execution flash probably could have done it a little bit better um, but I know that they're playing to a different audience that especially maybe a female audience that's not really like so in tune with the comic lore so like I would have just 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 I would have just had them like do it like but they spent a lot of time building that up uh, but maybe it's because I knew that, that I have to give some sort of uh, credit because of the fact that I already knew I was waiting for them to get to that point already but um, yeah dude looks good the costume looks on point he actually kind of looks better as Martian Manhunter, um, than his, uh, human, uh, uh, 
counterpart or so. So I'm wondering though, I am wondering a bit if Hank Henshaw, he assumed his identity, identity, so I'm assuming that the original Hank Henshaw in the Supergirl story is black as well. Um, so would we ever have a black cyborg Superman? I don't know. Um, I don't know, but anyways, let me know what you guys think. The people that are watching that show, let me know what you guys think. Um, I was going to say, is it worth tuning into? But I know all of you guys are going to be like, ah, yeah, no, you should start reacting to it and blah, blah, blah. Everybody says that, but uh, <laughs> a little more priorities here and, uh, of things to take care of right now. Um, that was cool. That was cool. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Okay. John Jones. Yeah.